Hey folks, Brother Josh here. I'm uh, planting some fruit trees and tilling up the garden. Putting in a little work this afternoon. Praise God. Thank God for the ability. And uh, got to thinking about it, you know. We have to dig down to get to the best dirt. We have to dig down to where the nutrients are. We have to dig down right on top because all the best stuff is protected by this hard outer layer but what's inside is what you try to get to because that's what makes everything you put in this dirt that's what makes it grow and us being dirt ourselves god puts the very best deep down inside of us when he takes a boat into our heart a boat into our life and we become the tabernacle of god the dwelling place of the holy ghost he puts it deep down inside it's no wonder my papa used to say something like god put god puts your heart the most important part of you behind the hardest bone in your whole body, behind your sternum here. So it's protected. God put these nutrients deep down in the ground so they're protected, so they're there, so they're preserved. God puts what's best, our very best, inside of us, and he seals us with his spirit till the day. The Bible says, whereby we are sealed till the day of redemption by the Holy Ghost. And you know, if you, ever, if you think about it, uh, you talk about coal mining, you talk about diamond mining, you talk about why does, why does the very best the everything that everybody wants is deep down in the earth that has to be dug for, has to be mined for. All these all these different things, the very best is protected by all this outer layer that has to be got through. A lot of times in our life we we have all these layers. The Bible talks about it in one place about the sand. If you build on anything other than Christ, if you build on the sand of this world, it's gonna sink. Your house is gonna fall. So a lot of times we have to dig the sand out of the way. God had to dig through a lot of sand to get to the best part of me. He had to go through a lot to get down to the bedrock when it gets right down to where the where the rubber meets the road so to speak the very best is deep down inside once god has took his abode inside of you a lot of times people will put their put their best just out there on their sleeve they'll just they'll just show their best to the world they'll just walk around and flaunting everything that they have when god god made it made it in such a way that all these things need to be protected the very best that you have to offer. People think you're cheap. People will think you're just easy to get, easy to come by if they don't have to dig for it, if they don't have to work for you, if they don't have to be held accountable to anything. They can just walk up and take from you the very best you have to offer. You see what I'm saying? A lot of times we make ourselves too available. We make ourselves too easily gotten. The very best we have to offer a lot of times needs to be worked for. It needs to be sought after. Just like we seek after God, if, just like we seek after, this relationship with God is our own relationship with Him. It's up to us to shape it, to frame it, to mold it, and be it become what God wants us to be. We're we're the clay; He's the potter. We have to be willing to be shaped and framed and molded so God can bring what's the very best inside of us to light. Sometimes it takes a little digging <laughs> sometimes it takes a little work it takes a little toil to get through the layers sometimes it takes a lot it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of a lot of hard work a lot of accountability a lot of getting low and digging down and being willing to get dirty in order for god to get what's what you really have to offer out to this world and be used of him as his instrument i hope this helps somebody today it's just it just rings true with me that the very best that we have needs to be sought after the very best things this earth this dirt has to offer we have to dig for it we have to work for it we have to strive for it go to great lengths to get it we have to use equipment and we have to tunnel down deep into the earth to get the very best that this earth has to offer because it's invaluable because it's a precious commodity and we belong to the lord and as 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 belonging to the lord we are his workmanship brought up in him we are his the apple the bible says that david was the apple of god's eye despite everything that he had done well now because we're on this side of the cross and god is dwelling inside of us through and by the blood of jesus christ because of what jesus done on the cross and nothing else we're made worthy by his blood we're made worthy we're made worthy this ground is being made worthy to be planted in now we are made worthy to be planted in now we're being we're being made worthy because what jesus done on the cross for god to use us to plant in us his spirit so that we may spread his spirit we may spread his light spread his life and spread his love i hope this helps somebody today god bless y'all praise the lord and jesus is the only way